This debrief is brought to you by imcclubs.org, because it doesn't matter what's in your airplane if you don't bring your A-game. IMC Clubs. Proficiency through education and experience. In today's glass cockpit, you've got your MFD, your PFD, and of course your IPAD, your iPad. So in this section, we're going to talk a little about the upgrade and what we've got in terms of iPad integration. Before we do that, let's do a quick review on the components involved in this upgrade. By adding dual Garmin GTN 650s and the Garmin's Flightstream 210 and GDL 88, uh, we, were, we bought ourselves the best WAS GPS units on the market, as well as the industry's leading iPad integration package. So a little bit about the Garmin GTN 650s. They do have the new touchscreens, but they still keep the knobs and a couple buttons, and you can get most things done on the 650s with either one. It was a very easy transition. Of course, we knew the uh, 430 series, so we were comfortable there. But when we downloaded the iPad app, the simulator, and combined that with the learning materials on the web, uh, once we got in the airplane with these things, it was a non-event. It was very easy to transition. So let's talk a little bit about the Garmin Flightstream 210. This does a few things. It lets you use your ship's GPS on your iPad. So if you have an iPad without a GPS, this is going to give you that highly accurate WAS signal right on your iPad. It also sends AHARS data to your iPad which can give you a, uh, a backup attitude indicator. Uh, it enables two-way flight plan transfer. And what that looks like is it lets you work up a flight plan on your iPad. Then when you get to the airplane, you can just press a button here and send it right to those GTN 650s. Now, the GDL is another box mounted in the panel, and it provides ADSB traffic and weather. Of course, to fly safely, cockpit weather it's a no-brainer but I'll show you later in this video how to preview the weather during your flight looking at updated METARs, TAFs, and winds aloft and, and of course the radar features are for storm avoidance they're just invaluable right but for traffic Garmin brings a little additional functionality to ADSB traffic by providing target trend and terminal traffic features these features give you more accurate predictions of another aircraft's closure rate on your aircraft, as well as helping you see and avoid terminal traffic on the ground while taxiing. These are features you just can't get with other packages and other products. So I'm going to very briefly talk about three iPad apps that really helped us transition to a Cirrus and get acclimated with the Garmin touchscreen navigators. Now this is by no means intended to be a tutorial on these products just a brief introduction and some guidance as to where you can learn more about them. Uh, the first one is the Garmin GTN Trainer, okay? It's available on the App Store, and when you use this in conjunction with the Garmin videos that are located on the Garmin site, URL looks like this. But frankly, just Google Garmin GTN Training videos and it pops right up. Now, I'll give you a couple tips to get started. So, when you once you get past those initial those initial uh, screens click on demo all right set yourself up a uh, set yourself up at a waypoint that's familiar with how about uh, how about one Bravo Niner all right that's Mansfield here in Massachusetts also set yourself up at an altitude so 2500 works and then to put the plane in motion give it an airspeed so 150 knots now the home button up in the upper right hand corner that is your friend that's going to take you to this big menu go over to the map you'll probably spend most of your time right there uh, go ahead and click on the screen and you'll see you'll see waypoint one bravo nine in the lower right corner click on that okay now here's where you can load your frequencies unicom frequency you can get a preview of the airport you can load any procedures that are available. 
So spend some time just looking around the maps, clicking on the home key, looking at the various screens. And then once you've done that, go right over to the Garmin site and watch those videos. If you do that, uh, by the time you get in the cockpit with these new GTNs, the transition will be a non-event. If you know the 43530 series, you're going to have no problem at all. The next app I recommend is Garmin Pilot. Now, you'll probably spend most of your time on the map page. And one of the features I really like is splitting the screen and using these widgets. So take a look as you make your way from Norwood down to Atlantic City. Your TAFs and your winds update as you get along. And here's another great little tip. If you are flying to Atlantic City, make sure you cancel IFR right about here just before Atlantic City and do a nice little sightseeing flight down along the uh, coast get some nice shots of uh, of the boardwalk so uh, another tip I have for you here is uh, go to the connect screen in Garmin Pilot and right here you can get uh, a good understanding of the integration from your GDL 39 there's some videos here if you look uh, at the bottom, you got view online help videos for the, the Flightstream 210 and the GDL 39. Uh, very good way to get familiar with how to connect, how to transfer, how to transfer um, uh, flight data between the iPad and the panel mounted GTNs. Uh, a really great way to get uh, to get trained up there. Next app I've got for you is the Cirrus Pro Flight app. Now this is a really great pre-flight planning tool as well as uh, weight and balance. So on the fuel page you can see that uh, you can manipulate your trip by adding alternates, uh, increasing wind speeds, and you can get a really good estimate of your fuel requirements. Uh, it's also a great weight and balance tool. Um, you can manipulate the fuel and determine just exactly how much you can carry with, uh, with your load. So those are three apps for your iPad. Be sure to join us for the last part in this series, What's in Your Flight Bag. Till then, fly safe.